Welcome, my name is Lara Hyman. I'm a physical therapist and creator of the Lit Yoga Method. This class is called Stability Before Mobility. And it's the idea of creating a lot of stability in the core, which is everything between the outer shoulders and the outer pelvis and pelvic floor to create better mobility um, in the limbs. So we'll be holding the poses a little longer and asking those muscles around the core to stabilize and hold. So let's begin on our back. Bring your feet on the floor, take a huge breath out, exhale. Put your hands on your thighs, inhale, press into the floor, and lift your hips up a little bit in a bridge. Not your highest bridge, but just to establish a neutral pelvis with getting the glutes involved. So if you feel any compression on your knees, walk your feet away a bit more. If you feel like your glutes aren't working and your hamstrings are working more, press your hands into your thighs and lift up using the glutes. So using the hands as feedback to get the glutes working more. So working in the quadriceps helps the glutes turn on and a little bit less in the hamstrings. So keep that activity happening because the glutes are big movers, but they're also going to help us stabilize in a lot of the positions in our yoga practice. So let's bring the hands up in the air and stretch out the wrist. You'll take your left hand and grab the right fingers, pull back here, take a breath in, and exhale. So even here, when I have my hand up, trying not to move anything in the rib cage, but stabilize. So stabilizing the muscles around the ribs on the side of the body will help this arm movement be able to be integrated and not lose the stability from the center. Take your right hand and grab your left fingers and pull back here. And again, let's exhale. Kind of letting that breath go but not letting go of what's happening in the center, all the way down to the glutes. And then we'll lower to the floor. Bring your uh, block. If you have a block, it's great to have. If you don't, you don't need a block, but we'll, if you have it, we're gonna use it. Put the block between the knees, the thinnest way, and you wanna feel the knee, the bony parts of the knees, grab the block. Hands come behind your head, elbows are in. Big inhale, exhale, come up off the shoulders, so you want to get up enough that you're trying to get the scapula, the shoulder blades, off the floor. Stabilize in the center by bringing the sides of the ribs, the muscles that attach there, draw them in towards center. Inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up. Squeeze the block if you have it. And then we'll straighten the left leg. So you can do this again without the block. But with the block there, it's helping this stable, uh, stabilization of the inner lines of energy, of the inner thighs up into the abdominals. And then rebend the left knee, put the foot down, inhale and lower. Exhale and lift up off the shoulders and straighten the right leg. Stabilize in the center, hold the front ribs down, rebend the knee, put the foot down, inhale and lower. Exhale and lift. Straighten the left leg again. Squeeze the block if you have it. Hold strong here. Rebend. Put the foot down. Inhale and lower. Exhale and lift up. Straighten the right leg. Hold. So we're getting the idea of holding while we're moving the limb. Put the foot down. Inhale and lower. One more on each side. Exhale and lift. Straighten the left leg. Hold here. Rebend and put the foot down. Inhale and lower. Last time, exhale and lift. And straighten the right leg. And as you're holding, you're not gripping in your face, you're holding in the core. And then put the foot down and lower. So coming up, we're going to come into quadruped, sometimes people call this tabletop, 
And the idea here is to align the shoulders over the wrist, the hips over the knees, and then all the structure from hip to shoulder, all that core, is stabilizing as we add some movement. The neck is also important because if your neck, if your head is down, it'll throw off the rest of the spine. So keep the neck long, pull in with the front body and slide your left leg back so the toes are on the floor but your knee is extended and then really dial up the activity of the left glute. So we got to create a lot of stability from the glute and the front body. Then we're going to slide the right foot back so we'll end up being in a plank. This is a great pose of stability. A lot of stability in the front is required because we already have gravity pulling us down. So really hold shoulders over the wrist, work your glutes, work your abdominals, work the shoulder girdle by keeping the scapula, that's the shoulder blades, neutral, not rounding. One more breath here just to really get this sense of stability and then we'll slide the left knee back in and the right knee back in. We're going to do this again. Hold everything steady, check in with the head, slide your right foot back this time. Firm the right glute, toes are on the floor, and then stabilize a lot before you slide the left foot back into plank. So people will practice plank and be not fully stable. So there's a lot of sinking and stuff like that. Hold, hold, hold. A good plank is really challenging. It creates that straight line of energy in the spine held together through the stability of the core. Slide the right knee in, followed by the left, and feel, ha, huh, that's hard, right? So now we're going to go into down dog. Shoulders are over the wrist. Tuck your toes. Hover the knees off the floor and then lift your hips up really high and start to move some weight back into your feet without unloading the hands. And imagine a current of energy from the hands through the arms into this cylinder of the core. So from outer shoulders to outer hips, everything in between is holding and stabilizing. Big breaths here. It's really easy to kind of collapse, and that's not what we want. We want the front ribs lifted. Keep pressing into your hands, and we'll lift the left leg up for three-legged down dog, the toes facing the floor. And this has a semblance of the tabletop quadruped position. Reaching back through the left leg, pressing into the hands, and holding steady here. Then we're going to take the left foot, bring it forward without picking up your hands. So you're going to push the floor away, stabilize through the center, step as far forward as you can, and lower the right knee into a low lunge. 90 degrees in the front, 90 degrees in the back. All the core is stabilizing, and then you can reach the arms up. Keep lifting the front, the sides, and pulling back with the front. And then take a breath in and breath out. So with more stability, you're also creating a bigger breath availability. So that creation of strength and stability allows you to move the breath. If you let your things go, your, the breath is actually going to be shortened. One more here. And then we're going to bring both hands down. Move the hands forward so that your shoulders will move over your wrist as you lift your right leg up. So we're coming into a standing L. Now if you need a block under your hand, do that, or under both hands. But you can bend this left knee as much as you need to and find that feeling of being on, in quadruped here as well. So I'm not letting my head round, but keeping the chest open. A lot is happening. Stabilize to get the opening even more in the left leg. One more breath here. 
And then we're going to step the right foot back, bring our hands under the shoulders for plank. Find that stability in your plank. Really rev up your glutes. Remember the feeling if you have a block of the block hugging, um, being hugged by the inner knee joints. So get that feeling there. Then we'll lower the knees. Lower slowly. Keep the stability in place as you lower to the floor so you're not letting the belly droop. Inhale, cobra. Pull back. It doesn't have to be big here. Don't let the head keep the neck neutral. And then lower a little bit. Come back onto the knees. Press the floor away. And then lift into down dog. And edge your feet in so that you can feel that weight distribution between hands and feet. Take a breath in and exhale it out. So we'll, this time we'll lift the right leg up. Three-legged down dog, the toes are facing the floor. Press into the hands, hold your front ribs in. Keep the arms straight and strong and feel the core stability in the center. And then we'll step the right foot forward as much as you can without picking up your hands. Lower the left knee and line yourself up for 90-90 lunge. Work in the glute, holding and being stable through the center. Neck is in line as well. Inhale, reach the arms up and take a big breath in. The side waist gets longer and exhale. So we're really stabilizing the core in this position. Inhale. One more time. Big breath in. Now we want to maintain this feeling of length and stability as you move your hands forward and then lift your left leg up. So you're coming into this bent knee standing L shape. Hands can be on blocks as well. You can really have the knee bent, but we don't want to lose the stability in the center, in the core. Huge breath here, and you'll feel like when you really maintain that stability there, you're actually going to get more opening, more potential for flexibility. So that's why it's stability before mobility in some ways, because if you don't have this stable, you're just going to move in the path of least resistance. One more breath. And then we'll step the left foot back, hands, wrist under the shoulders, step back for plank and pause. Feel again the strength of plank, all, that stable, all those muscles stabilizing you. Lower the knees. Keep the feeling of plank as you lower to the floor. And that'll mean that the shoulder, head of the arm bones don't drop down, that they stay centered. Pull back for cobra, inhale. Lower a little bit, press into the floor through the knees, keeping that stability in place, and then lift. Down dog, walk the feet in. Take a huge breath in here. And huge exhale. Feel here that stability, that the work that you had in your plank and your quadruped, not letting it go in your ribs, but holding them in. One more breath. We're going to come into three-legged down dog again, so the left leg will lift. Step that left foot forward, again, without picking up your hands if possible, right? You can always put your hands on blocks. And then we'll keep the right hand, right wrist under the shoulder, lean back into the right shoulder blade, and the left arm comes up for a twisted crescent. Create a lot of stability to actually promote more length. So spine stays long, ribs are held in, right glute is firm. We don't want to let the pelvis turn, so keep the pressure into the big toe. One more breath there. And then lower the right knee underneath. So instead of a low lunge, we're going to really stabilize for a modified side plank. Right shoulder over the wrist, left arm comes up with the option of lifting the left leg. Stabilize 
from outer pelvis to outer shoulders. The chin is neutral, one more breath. And then we're remembering the feeling, left hand down, left toes are back, neck is in line, slide your right leg back for plank. Hold, lower the knees, and in that plank-like position, continue to lower without dropping the belly. Pull back, inhale, cobra. And exhale, you can lift right into plank again or onto the knees, and then down dog. Walk the feet in a little bit, keep pressing into the hands, big inhale, and big exhale. So it takes a lot of focus to do uh, really good stabilizing. Lift your right leg up for three-legged down dog, using the glutes holding the low belly in, pressing into the floor with the hands, and then step the right foot as far forward as you can. Arrange it so the shoulder is over the left wrist. You can also have a hand on the block. Turn through the ribs without turning the pelvis, so this is the stable stability that you need. Right arm comes up for twisted crescent. You can let the head release. You just don't want the chin jutting. So you can actually let the left ear release or keep it lifted a little. One more breath here. And then the left knee comes underneath your left hip. Have it in there. Shoulder stays over the wrist. Modified side plank, hold the belly in. We don't want to let the, pelv the hips drop out. Hold them steady, right arm is up. And then the right leg can come up. Pushing the floor away, stabilizing from outer shoulders to outer pelvis. So we can get a little bit of movement here, but it comes from first stabilizing. One more breath. And then, again, right hand and right toes down, getting ready for our plank. Firm the right glutes, slide the left foot back for plank. Lower the knees. Hold the plank position as you lower. Pull back, inhale, cobra. And exhale, you can come up through plank on the knees or not. And then down dog and walk the feet in. And then take a big breath in, find stability here and see how that stability now might make you actually feel a little bit more spacious in the back body. Inhale and exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. And then we'll lower to the floor. Good. This is a great class to come and revisit, see how the stability sets you up for more success, mo for mobility in the joints. Remember, the limbs are going to move but they need to move from a stable, stable structure, which is your core. So I hope you come back over and over again and check in with your stability. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.